When they put their arms that way, that means they're really chilling. Okay. Beautiful little shell, beautiful creature. About the biggest that a desert tortoise will grow is 14 inches. I've read on a couple of occasions from the front of the shell to the back, and he is 14 and a half. So he's a, we call him the tank. So Charlie's somewhere around 80. His, um, uh, uh, scoots show his age. He has some damaged scoots right there, the two in the top center from when he was a baby before he came to us. The scoots develop when they're basically one and two and they really need that sun. They need the sun, the UVs and the, the warmth and that's what makes their shell strong. So, all right, so again, as a reminder, your tortoises have all tort desert tortoises and um, uh, water turtles have 13 scoots. So those are these on the back. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. It's a magic number. And when they lower themselves, they're just kind of chilling. What are you guys doing over there? And what are you guys doing? Well, Merida came back out. Everybody, yeah. You know what? We fed you. You guys want some dessert? Is this time for dessert or you just want some good night hugs and kisses? Kind of looking you like you just want some good night hugs and kisses. They're just loving the weather. Mm -hmm. They're just milling about. This is what tortoises do. They mill about. You know what that's... That's what they do. They mill about. Are you milling Mortis? Milling, milling Merida? Milling Mortis? Mortis. <laughs> oh, Mia. I want to tell is just going up against a wall. What are you doing back there? He wants to get to Charlie. Oh, he's just a little boy, just discovering. All right. The princess looks depressed, like, well, where, where's the food for me? Yeah, she came out late. She missed the food. Late sleepers eat last. <laughs> All right, we can give her some food. You're walking on Daddy's feet because you love him. You think you're missing out on something there, Donatello? Mr. Busybody. Hey, what's going on over here? How come she gets hand-fed? I'm pretty sure that you're going to get some hand-feeding as well. I think he has a crush on the princess. Yeah. He has to be right next to her. And then he's sneaking a kiss in there as they're eating. Is that what that is? Yeah. Hey, look, I'm just eating, eating. Oh, I just kissed you. Sorry. He's sneaky that way. It's like uh, Lady and the Tramp when they're eating the spaghetti. <laughs> oh, that was one of my favorites, Lady. Look at, they're doing it. They're, they're kissing. They're, they're, they're oh, you sure that's not fighting? No, that's not fighting. It's not fighting. It's Lady and the Tramp. Kissing and smooching. Man, they devoured this thing. Okay. Here, let's go over here. We can just move this over there if you want, babe. Kind of do the, what's easy for the parents. Oops. Probably. You are a good tortoise daddy, Mr. Chris Vegas. Well, I have a lot of experience with them in <laughs> two years. I'm going to show everybody what shirt you have on right now because it's super cool. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. <laughs> I love that one. That's some of our merch. Yeah. Man says, hey, babe. All right. Okay. Make sure a princess gets some. Don't eat it all, Donatello. You just had some. Princess was sleeping late and missed dinner, so she's late to the dinner table. And this is Princess, guys, again, because her shell is big and smooth. And you can see she's been growing a lot, too. She has a lot of the white threads between her scoots. You know, and with that said, it looks like Donatello's not really growing too much. I don't see a lot of white threads between his. 
he's going to be a little man. And he's going to be a full of himself, that's for sure. All right, you two. Enjoy. All right, this is Mia here, and Mia has the biggest, flattest shell. And if you look at the, her scoots, it's interesting this time of year, as they are eating and growing so much, there are a lot of the, the threads between the scoots, and that happens as they're growing. So, go girl, just keep on growing, honey. She's eating and growing. With great supervision, Charlie is having a, a fun day walking around the backyard and looking at the pool. And hanging out with us. Where are you going? You're going somewhere fast. Where are you going? All right. So, we gave him a little greens. That's why he has them on his face. I'm just going to sit over here and let him walk around. He wants to explore. He's a big guy. He needs space. Probably smart enough to not go in the pool, but accidents happen. So... So we'll keep an eye on him. And the last time we did this, he really enjoyed it, but he, then he got really exhausted. His breathing was labored. He was kind of funny, but remember, he is an, he is definitely a senior, senior, super senior. He's about 80 years old. Somewhere around 80. So, Charlie's somewhere around 80. His, um, uh, uh, scoots show his age. He has some damaged scoots right there, the two in the top center from when he was a baby before he came to us. The scoots develop when they're basically one and two and they really need that sun. They need the sun and the UVs and the, the warmth and that's what makes their shell strong. So he's, he's with us now and he's in a good place and Again, today he's having an activity day. So let's go down this way, honey. You gonna follow me? Okay, let's have activity day. Come on. With our tortoises being extra active in August and September, we had fun activity days and hopefully shed some light on the scoots of a desert tortoise and what information they give you. And now it's time to say good night. Good night, Charlie. Good night, Littlefoot. Good night, Merida. Good night, Donatello. Good night, Princess. And good night, Mia. Sweet dreams.